When I first read about a street painting festival near the Mission, I pictured easels lining the perimeter of the square in various stages of oils and watercolor. But upon further investigation, I discovered the street part was literal and the painting done by chalk. Street painting was prevalent in the 16th century. Itinerant artists would travel to religious celebrations, festivals, and local holidays and create beautiful chalk drawings on sidewalks and in plazas, typically of the Madonna, hence the name for these artists, Modinari. Townsfolk would toss coins on the street paintings in appreciation, providing a small income and the means for the artist to get to the next town. Traditional Modinari use chalk pastel because someone else may want to paint where they painted the very next day. We should consider it as a performance. Street painting was a dying art until 1972 when a small Italian village hosted the first known street painting festival. The past 30 years have seen a renaissance in the U.S. and Europe, making this contemporary art form's popularity skyrocket. Street painting takes an enormous amount of work and study. The artist must first draw an outline of the art in proper proportion. Next, they begin to lay the base of colors using soft chalk pastels. Gradually, the artist layers the chalk, blending the colors, creating shadow, contrast, and depth. The results are spectacular. In addition to religious art, today's street painters use modern images or even original art. Popular with viewers and some modernari are 3D anamorphic paintings. Pretty amazing, huh? Today you can attend a street painting festival in many U.S. cities and towns from Oak Ridge, Tennessee to Salt Lake City, Utah, with several in Florida and California. A festival takes place somewhere in the U.S. every month except January, April, November, and December. If you find yourself in the vicinity of a street painting festival, do yourself the favor and go. It will truly amaze you.